Send them the Skype anyway. See if they show up. <laughs> that never works. Okay. Um, but cool. the, t- the headline today is Anoush has different mic setups. So let's go. <laughs> let's go over them. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. Wait, were we recording the whole time? Just now. Just started. We just started. Don't worry. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, so he wasn't ready. Anuj is the guest. Um, I have to introduce him now because Never he's ready. too busy laughing. Yeah. Um, Never ready. I just noticed that Daniel was recording the call in the, in the top bar uh, just now. He's uh, He's swapping around microphones. Maybe? I don't know. Not sure no, I settled on one. He's doing a lot of behind the scenes work right now, even though this isn't really a podcast that does a lot of behind the scenes work. So Whatever that means. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. I have no idea what he's been doing. Um uh, but apparently he's now he's now part of the podcast. To production. be fair, this is also the same mic I use like I've used both of these mics to record music at some point in time. Yes, and we've discussed your music uh a number of times on this show. Yes. So. I think our listeners, if you're a long-time listener, if you're a short-time listener, if you're a medium time is probably the best. Yeah, because so, a long time you might have forgotten and you're sick of it, or the, the show I mean, and if you're short time, you know, I don't remember last time I talked about your music. It was probably about a year ago. So somewhere in the medium time, um, then you're somewhat familiar about his music. I think I put the link to your, your uh, you know, you the drive have. link, the Google Drive link in the description. So... Yeah, that is right. It did, as I told you yeah. to do that. So Shameless I, self-promotion. I there. Yeah, well, it's not self-promotion. I'm promoting you, so, um, you know, it's, it's, but you're promoting yourself now. So uh, anything? Well, actually, that's a good. That's let's let's start there because we have a new season coming up in a in a few months. It's it's we're three months away. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna. I don't know if I want to do 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 this again. Um, I might, well, but I just got to make sure I've got material. You know what I'm saying? Well, for those who don't know what you're talking about, just kind of give a brief overview. In For the 2022 season, I uh, basically made a track for every opponent that we faced this year. Um, some of them aged great, more gracefully than the others. Let's just put it that way. Including a self-proclaimed uh, hype track for the at the beginning of the season, and then the rest are just like run-of-the-mill diss tracks. I had a half a mind to do one like like a halfway like reflections track, and I never got to it. Um, yeah. So there's there's a track for every game. Again, it's on the link that we posted whenever it was. Um, I yeah, I was don't about to say, do you remember episode. which episode that was? That could be any episode. <laughs> Oh, wait, I don't know. I see. It's, it's episode 229. Oh, wow, that was fast. I was going to say, look at the description for your name, and then that'll probably be easiest, the easiest way to... No, I yeah, remember so there you go. I was making a joke about Antonio Brown, and then uh, you named the series Don't Quit Your... And the, the episode Don't Quit Your Day Job. So I recognized oh. it. There you go. So... You remember things about the show better than I do, which is... Which is I remember random things about the show better than... It's weird. I shouldn't be trusted. This is actually episode what does that mean? Well, I feel I feel like it's better if like you know the fans and the guests know it better because okay, fair enough. Um, oh uh, yeah, this is you know, the, means this is the 250th episode. That's right. This is number 250. How are we celebrating? Oof, I didn't think about that. Man, this is your show. Can you have this? Oh, on, on that's mark? right. <laughs> I have nothing to celebrate. Like I don't have any material here for celebration purposes. Um, I, I'm all ears though. What do we? Let's see. Hold on. Let me see what I have here. What is this? No, I don't want that. I said we're doing this live, everybody. We're doing this live. We're doing this live. Um. No, I mean we have the questions and an- or answers game. We can go back to as a sort of a a, a callback. To simpler times. Um, oh, now you gotta answer them. So send me the list, and I'll ask oh God. you the no, questions. That, 
And they will get that. to see your responses. How's that? How about that? I, I feel like that defeats the purpose. Because I came up with, you know, I came up with the questions. So. Exactly, but it's your 250th episode. Oh, I don't answer that. Why, but you haven't answered a number of these, I'm sure. Well, you haven't answered any of them, and I think a good <laughs> way to celebrate the podcast going this long is for the audience to get to know you. That's just the Oh, guess. God. That sounds like a terrible idea. All right, well, all right, let me send you, um, uh, what's the best way to do this? Maybe on this Put computer. Put it in the DMs. Well, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, okay, you have to stall for a few minutes because i got to pull it up on here. All right, well, uh, I guess I could talk more about the mixtape. Um, most of the, most of the tracks are, like, basically just, like, instrumental tracks I found from, like, Lincoln Park and other tracks I'd laying around. The last track was, uh, had a little bit of, uh, inspiration from 8 Mile. Just using the beat. But I don't know if I want to do it. I'm on the fence of doing it again this year. But if I do, I need some, like, either help producing it or... I don't know if I need help writing it. Although ideas are always appreciated. But what I do know is that I suck at producing audio. That's just a fact. Like, like as far, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they sound fine. I think they definitely got better as you went along. Sure. Um, no. <laughs> oh man, you literally just like posted them, uh, posted them right in the deck. All right, all right. Yeah, that uh, was let's, easier. Let's than doing work it. down. Let's work down these then. Um, so, so well for reference, I just posted. So I posted the first. Right, not posted, but I gave and there's the first forty questions in the list. You know, again, as a callback, there are the old questions. We haven't asked them in a while. Yeah. Um, and they're a little more straightforward. All right. Uh, well, uh, blue cheese or green eggs? Blue cheese or green eggs. This is a good one. Um, this is this is a classic one where one of them is fake. Yeah, so we disagree. Uh, <laughs> yeah, green eggs are not real. Green eggs and ham. What? That doesn't actually sound like a bad combo if you like protein. I don't mind blue cheese. Blue cheese is big up here, you know, with the with the wings and stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, green, yeah, eggs. green eggs sounds interesting. I'm gonna go with the interesting one. I'm gonna go with green eggs. All right. Because it's not real. So. Have you ever danced on a boat? Damn it, that's a good one. I, I was kind of thinking when I was pulling this this list up, I was like, oh, do I even remember? I've been on a few boats. I don't think. Uh, you know, I don't think I have danced on a boat. Yeah, me neither. Let's. What's the biggest boat you've been on? A uh, cruise ship. I've been on been on a cruise ship. That's, that's probably the that's a boat you could theoretically dance on if you were want to dance on a boat. Technically, it's a ship. Friggin' technical. vessel. <laughs> Boating vessel. That's not what the question says. No, yeah, you could dance on it, but I never. I didn't. I don't think I did. I mean, I've so I've been on a pontoon boat, but I was really young. I've been on a speed boat again, also very young. And the last time I was on the water, um, uh, I went jet skiing. Okay. For college. Favorite form of public transport? Favorite form of transport. Um, you know, I'm a ferry person. I like a a good ferry. You know, not too long, obviously. Like, don't give me, like, a three-hour ferry ride. Come on, let's get there. But it's nice on a nice, like, uh, you know, summer day. Or something like that, you know? Okay, I feel like it's just, it, it seems cleaner than like a bus or a train, you know, so. I don't know, I like the train. I appreciate the train. Trains are nice. The, the, uh, the, um, what's it called? The Amtrak is, is pretty nice. I've never been on Amtrak. Um, Amtrak is nice. When I, like a subway? My, my first experience on a, on a train was, uh, back when kids rode free on MARTA and we still had those, like, fair tokens before a breeze card and shit. And, like, mm. I think, uh, and we, and, like, my parents and I ride around on a couple of times, like, one time we went to Circus on Marta, we went to my mom's naturalization on Marta, we went to a Falcons game, 
couple of trips to the airport. I appreciated it. I wish it was more developed. Martyr is nice. I can appreciate a good, a good martyr, which for our, uh, for our non uh, Atlanta listeners is uh, just the, the public train service in Atlanta. Short for Metro Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority. We actually have That's a more little... refined version in D.C. Uh, it's a little, it's a little much of a tongue twister there. They, they definitely came up with the name and the, the acronym, and then they came up, they had to reverse engineer the acronym. I think they're trying to, they're trying to rebrand it like the ATL or something. Oh, are they? I, I have not like kept that. up with Marta News. ATL Transit, I, I, yeah. I, I didn't go on trainnews.com. No, they have a whole website. It's atltransit.ga.com. I, I do remember. So I haven't, I, you know, I, I haven't lived in Atlanta for a few years now, and you haven't either. But uh, the the Marta website, when I went on it, let's say five years ago, was not good. It was it's, pretty bad. Is it still good? Let's, well, let's see. So I'm going to pull it up now. Yeah. Well, they got new trains. They're placing the old CQ 310, 311, and 312 um, and new shit. This, this website is much better, I will say. Um, but the, much before it had, yeah, the UI was just terrible. Like it looked like a website from the 90s that they never updated yeah. in the year 2018 or whatever. Uh, but this looks much better. It's a little more. It's a little cleaner. Uh, it's easier to see what you're what you want. Mm-hmm. Um, still not. I mean, there needs to be, I guess, train alerts. Like there needs to be a. There, there still are. A schedule or something. Bus uh, alerts, okay. train alerts, streetcar yeah, alerts. Does anybody that. even use it? Does anybody even use a streetcar? I I don't. I don't know. I'm sure. I never took the bus. I never used the bus. I never, either. I never used the bus. It seemed it seemed kind of nice. Like I'd see it, I'd see people using. I'm like, oh, that seems like a good idea. Like especially from the airport to the campus sometimes. But uh, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Like but that was my plan like, actually. Um, we were supposed to have a career fair uh, last October, um, or not career fair day in the lobby and. Uh, I was I was planning to show up as part of my uh of a, for my employer. Uh, my plan was fly in to Atlanta in the morning, Marta up to uh, Marta up to Tech, trolley in from um, from Midtown, and it'll drop me off at the at Klaus House College of Computing, and then I do my career fair things. I do my day in the lobby recruiting, and then. Uh, a teammate would give a tech talk, and then I would either martyr or Uber my ass back to the airport. Never, unfortunately, the, the plan fell through. Yeah. Well. Apple or Microsoft? Back to the question. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. What's the right answer here? What am I gonna? What am I gonna? I don't really use many Apple products. I'll say that. Okay. Um, but Microsoft has been frustrating lately, so, so I, I'm about to say neither, but I'll go Microsoft. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know, Apple products are... You an Android man? I do have an Android. Hey, you're an Android guy, yeah, so am I. Um, so, but I do have a, I do have a Windows PC. Um, I don't, I have a Mac at home, at, in Georgia. I haven't used it. Um... But anyway, why? Will, I, just, I feel like I like the design better. I don't know. Yeah. The, the, the Mac OS concept, like the design of the OS, like now is actually kind of cool. Okay. Why ruled or college ruled? And um, further, I might need to look this up to understand what the margins are. This, <laughs> I don't know the exact measurements. But I write pretty small, so I, I traditionally college rule was more efficient for my my handwriting style. So that's that's pretty much what I tried to use uh, throughout my my schooling. Uh, I don't really use that type of paper anymore. So. So I mean, it's just eight and a half by eleven, but looks like uh, one inch margin from the top. 
And yeah, the margins less. should be the same, I would think. Versus wide rule, which is... You're really getting into this. I, I appreciate the commitment here. Oh. Oh, wide... Uh, it's not actually the the margins. It's the, the lines, right? So like Yeah, it's the line the, height. So the wide ruled paper is what you would use if you were, like, learning the... The letters. Well, if you write, if, if you, you have bigger in handwriting, elementary school or like middle school, or not middle school, like kindergarten. I would say if you have bigger handwriting, it makes sense. You know, some people just write big. Yeah. Letters, these big letters. So everybody I, uses I, college rules. I don't think it's unacceptable to use one or the other, but you know, it's on the question list. So that's really... <laughs> Did you ever study abroad? Um, this question is a little out there. Uh, I did not study abroad. I worked abroad. Oh, really? Do tell. That's not, that's not much to it. I did a little marketing job in Germany, in Berlin, for, for a summer. Um, tell, in tell us about your my, experience in Berlin. Tell us about your experience between, in Germany. My bachelor's and master's. Uh, it was pretty good. I, it's definitely a, a city that's very friendly to, um, you know, tra- foreigners, travelers, uh, which is nice. Hmm? Tourists. Yeah, tourists. Uh, yeah, it is, but it is. It's it's a very friendly to tourists. Uh, Good. At least from what I hear, compared to a lot of other cities, uh, mm-hmm. people there very willing to speak English and help you out and that sort of thing. So, uh, and uh, obviously a lot of great stuff. I, I did a I did a few cultural things. It's been a few years, so I'm trying to remember exactly what I did. But you know, I did all the, the the usual tourist stuff and uh any castles uh yeah plenty of castles i probably have videos on my youtube channel i want i you know what i definitely have videos on my youtube channel so you can look those up later by you i mean the listener in and the news specifically um, we should include the link in your uh in the in the description of oh the they don't they don't need that if they don't uh, need that. but if you go to the youtube channel it's on the my my uh, my personal channels definitely uh like so you, oh yeah so this is summer 2019, See. right? There you go. Like, okay, sure. Berlin, Hamburg, and Prague. Yeah, those These are the videos few, you're I referencing. Know. But you got like uh, tops 90 seconds in Berlin and Prague, uh, Hamburg, but you got like five minutes in Prague. They're just like photo slides. They're nothing. It's nothing crazy. Seems like you have more material in Prague than in uh, Berlin and Hamburg. <laughs> you get to see the wall. Where, um. The wall? You could see the remnants of the wall. Yeah. I say. Yeah. That. Yeah. You went to Iceland too. But nice. Okay, now we're just going down my uh my, my YouTube. Yes, library. we are. Yes, we are. Uh, not necessary. <laughs> there's there's great content there, but we don't need to. All right. Need to. Do you wear jeans in the summer? Wear we jeans. Um. I try not to, obviously. I would say that's. You ever slip? I can't. Do I ever slip? Yeah, and a- end up wearing jeans anyway. Oh, like that? No, no, not in that. I mean, like, if there's like an event or it's like nighttime. Sure. And, you know, stuff like that. You might have to, but uh, that's sure. that's a question that's in reference to uh, one of your personal stories. So that's, yes. That's why it's in there. An unfortunate tale that landed me in the ho- that landed me in st- in the. Uh, on an IV at stands. Yeah. And then in the emergency room at Emory Jones Creek. But yes, I was stable enough to, that my parents could basically, that my mom and my sister could get me up to Emory Jones Creek. But that's, we ain't talking about that right now. Where, <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Is it pronounced, uh, is it octopuses or octopi? This, this question is. Plural form of octopus. This question's in there to, to um to point out that both are acceptable. Which one do you prefer? I, I think just for the fact that it's it's lesser used, I'm gonna go with octopuses. Okay. Just put an ES on everything. You know, don't make it complicated. Just you know. That's fair. Keep it easy. Isn't it a it's Latin? Everything's complicated in Latin. Um 
Yeah, maybe. Probably. Is it? I don't know Latin, so I'll just agree with you. Yeah. Do you charge your phone overnight? This is also in there because it's something that I do not do. I feel like phones nowadays. Say what? Yes, Julie, about that, or at least a variant of it. Oh, my, maybe, yeah. Um, well, I feel like phones. Yeah, the exact question was. Uh, was it? Have you ever not system? gone anywhere because your phone wasn't charged? Oh yeah, that's a different question. That's I think later in the list. Um, anyway, uh, do you charge your phone? Yeah, I feel like phones fast charge enough nowadays that it's not necessary. I charge it like. I can pretty much charge it in the evening. You know, I, I work a weird schedule now, but like you can charge it at some point before you go to bed. And uh, if I have to, I can charge it in the morning. It'll be fully charged. So it's not a big. That's fair. I don't, I don't need to charge it for eight hours or however long. You know, for, well, or you can use six your car. Hours. And well, I can also. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I also charge it on the way. Uh, on the way to work. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, while we're at while we're on the topic of phones and cars, uh, this isn't on the list, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway. Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? I feel like I know what your answer is gonna be, but I think you know my answer. Well, I don't really use Apple CarPlay, but the times that I have, I it's it's the UI again. I'm heavy on the UI today, but the icons are just so bubbly that it, it throws me off a little. For CarPlay, like it looks like a kid's game. You know, it looks like Candy Crush. <laughs> okay. Do you use Android Auto? Um, sure. Yes, I guess. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. It's I, I, it's not the best. Admittedly, it is also is not the best system to use. I feel like it's not. I don't know. They they just updated it maybe a few months ago. That's so fair. It's a little better. So you can actually at least get like split screen. Yeah, split um, screen with the map and the audio. Game yeah. changer. Um, but it's I actually fine. had they're to. All fine. They're all I had fine. to download like a separate music app for all of my local music to work on Android Auto. It was a mess. Oh yeah, yeah. Music can be tricky. I mean, at sure. least you got Spotify. At least you got Google Podcasts. And if you're a hockey fan, you can listen to games on the radio or on the NHL radio feeds through the app. It's pretty cool. Oh, right. Hydrate or die straight? I feel like I know what your answer is going to be, but still. Look, hydration is important. Of course. It's another maybe outdated reference. I think something, something, purpose, very, no, hail, hydrate. Yeah, these are these are very old questions. That, um, I wonder yeah, if they still do... Uh, That's hydrate. I wonder if they still do hail, hydrate. Or did they go back to hail, hydra? I don't know. It's been it's been years now, it's been right? Minute. It's been a minute, yeah. Because like we we did hell hydrate in in our last year, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big trash cans or small trash cans? And we can throw the uh, the 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 yellow thingies you see on uh, on campus before game days in too. Look, big trash cans can hold a lot of stuff, obviously. But you you can't underestimate the the carrying weight, right? Because if you you know you got to deal with the consequences of a big trash can, which is carrying the trash out to the dumpster, if that's your thing, you know, depending on what kind of trash system you have. So, yeah. mm, but but smaller trash cans fill up so quickly. It's uh, I really you know it's, 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 it's so you got to take them out uh, more often. Yeah. But I mean the yeah really good news. So the, the correct answer is medium-sized trash cans. Okay. It was weird, but I'll allow it. I don't... Define, okay, define medium size. Like, do, do you have a volume limit? I really, I don't know. I think, I think, uh, what, what is this, 13 gallons? It's probably plenty. 13 gallons is kind of big. That's a, a 10 gallons? I don't forget how big this is. Um, I could go check, but, uh, but that's too much. I, um, I really don't have that. Story. I was uh, I was more on the quart scale. The quarts. Okay. Quartz. Yeah. Oh. Unless you want to talk like cubic centimeters or liters or whatever. Uh, <laughs> surface area. Um, 
No, I, no, I, I, I don't really. Volume. Okay, uh, moving on. I really don't have a story. Microsoft Word or Google Docs? Yeah. Um, well, I will say, Google Docs is nice because it's free. Um, OneDrive's free, too. That, um, oh, wait. No, it's not. Word is free if you're using OneDrive. Sure, yes. But you need to pay for that. No. There's a there's a barrier of entry. You got to pay for something uh, with regard to 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 Microsoft's products. But I feel like it's just it's easy. I'm I'm used to that, so it's easier to use. So I feel like it. it I remember it when looks OneDrive way, was SkyDrive, and you got 25 gigs of cloud storage for free. Oh yeah. No, but so, Microsoft Word looks the way I expect it to look, whereas Google Drive sometimes is a little wonky. In terms of how you can are. create a free account, you can create a free OneDrive account. For how? For what? what and you, so you would get, get Microsoft uh, Office for free. Look I this mean, up. So I might be biased because my organization uses Microsoft 365, but basically, you could just, but I just like I edit all of my shit on in uh, not. Not uh, I, I, at that point, is it OneDrive or are you just paying for SharePoint? SharePoint, I guess. I don't know. I guess it, it would be just SharePoint. Well, now I'm looking at uh, Microsoft 365 pricing. I'm not looking at OneDrive uh, tiers. All right, everyone. Uh, leave a comment. What do you? How much do you pay for Microsoft Word? <laughs> While we're at it, OneDrive or uh, Google Drive? Uh, see, again here, I feel like Google Drive is easier to navigate. Uh, I feel like OneDrive is, maybe maybe this has changed, but I don't know. Cause I, I also, I mean, we use OneDrive for work, and I don't know. Looks fine. I think they're the same. They're the same. I don't have a strong opinion one or the other. Which is why, which is why I never answer these questions, because I don't really <laughs> usually have a strong opinion. Okay. Unless it's like a, a weird question that I'm asking. Okay, that's fair. But even then. Do you feel like you don't all right, um do you feel like you don't wear enough sunscreen? Sure. This is this is why this is on there. I feel like most people don't wear enough sunscreen. You know? But it's one of those things that's hard to tell. You know, you feel well, hot in is. the sun, but how are you supposed to know? You're supposed to time, you know, there's a generic time for how long sunscreen lasts. So you're supposed to sit there with a the stopwatch. What if you so, dark right, too? An hour and a half. It, how does it change with the pigment of your skin? You know, you and I are a little darker. So how does it, how does it change? What's the difference between, you know, how do you, something, how do you. Something melatonin. Yeah. How does that work? Yeah, but it's, or, no, not Melatonin. melatonin. Is a natural compound that wait melatonin is uh, is a sleep compound. I'm yeah, referring to melatonin. Not melatonin. You mean melanin? Yeah. Yes. I do. Uh, melanin or maybe melatonin. You know, initiated you by exposure a, to UV radiation. If you take it, it also melatonin. absorbs light. Yeah, melanin is is, is how it, how your uh, the pigment. Like, Changes the picking screen. So the- um, theoretically, uh, now take this as a great thought because I'm getting this from Wikipedia. Theoretically, I guess you, when people think that because mel- you, uh, a particular variant of you of melanin, you melanin can absorb UV radiation and can theoretically, I guess, protect the skin from uh, UV damage. I don't know if that works. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna call BS. Uh, your science facts of the day. Uh, from Wikipedia, so feel free to call me. Definitely true. Um, please quote him on those on those facts. Anyway, black or brown dress shoes. You know, I feel like black looks better, but I some for some reason I uh, I, I usually end up finding myself with brown dress shoes just because of the outfit that I choose. 
Are you a, are you a brown dress pants kind of guy? Well, I'll wear like some khakis or something and a blue shirt, and I'm like, well, right. then I gotta wear, you know, or or uh or like some some blue pants, some navy blue pants, you know. So I will uh, say when if I wear a suit, it's all black below the waist, black pants, black socks, black dress. No matter pants. what, no matter what. If I if I wear a suit. If I'm wearing uh, if I'm wearing khakis, I'm a little more flexible. I just don't wear. I mean, I have I have one suit. It's a black suit, and I really only wear it to like weddings and you know weddings and funerals. I, I don't have any other reason to wear. Oh, a suit. band banquet. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, <laughs> band banquet. But, but you know, nowadays, I mean, it, it, uh, there's, there's really no reason. I probably need a new suit. I I was looking like last year for a new suit, and I just never got around to getting one. But Okay. I'll probably have to get a new one at some point. Maybe a different a different color, different flavor. Different flavored suit. That reminds me, um I have a suit that I got tailor made while I was in, still in high school. I need to make sure that thing fits. Oh I gotta go get a new one. Anyway, uh Boulder Italics. You know, italics have a nice, uh, seem a little classier. Elegance, huh? There's an elegance to it. When would you use, so, would you ever use both? Oh, sure. Because, like, at least in, like, official documentation, like, sometimes you'll, like, emphasize it with italics, sometimes you'll uh, emphasize it with bold. Would you ever do bold and italics at the same time? I'm sure there's situations where you could, um, maybe not in, in formal writing, but uh, when you're when you're making signs or something, you know, right. thinking a little more different aspects of, of text use. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip around for a little. I'm gonna skip around a bit because I think there are some more interesting ones that we can uh, dive, dive deeper into. Like, What's the deal with airplane food? Don't questions. Airplane food. Um, well, speaking of uh, of the Germany trip, uh, the airplane food on that, I'm trying to remember. Well, I set it up terribly, but I I do remember those meals were not good. I mean, who'd you fly with? Great question. Um, Lufthansa, I think, for some of it. Lufthansa doesn't fly to Berlin. They fly to Frankfurt. How much I remember? Uh, they they fly. Wait, do they fly to Berlin? They don't. I want to say, but um, no. You know what? Maybe it wasn't Lufthansa. Let me look up. I can, maybe I still have the ticket. Hold on. So Berlin. This is going to be a international airport. Is a focus city for a bunch of for some low cost airlines according to uh, okay let's see airlines and destination who flies to the US no uh, I definitely flew Delta Lufthansa flies here. to the US yep I flew Lufthansa I did because you can fly Berlin to Frankfurt yeah that's right or Munich yeah but I'm trying to. That doesn't seem right. Where is the actual? This is the. Is this the itinerary? No, nope, those are those are other things. So I will say, uh, my last uh, long haul trip um, was to India, and the food. Uh, we flew Etihad Airways, and at least in my opinion, the food is pretty damn good. A little oily, but uh, I can't complain. Yeah, it's it. I don't know. It's it could be better. I flew Condor. Ah, uh, that's what I flew. But yeah, if uh, if you have to fly anywhere like east of the Middle East, uh, ten out of ten would recommend Etihad. There's definitely better better airlines than others. So. Okay. You just gotta know what to get because it's very easy to say, "Oh, this is the cheapest one," and then you end up in like, you know. Well, 
So while we're on the topic of air travel, is the TSA effective? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I don't want to be on around. any. I don't want to be on any lists here, but the TSA is not effective. Okay. There's been plenty of studies that things get through the TSA. What could they do better? Um. Well. That that may perhaps it's more about how much of the TSA is necessary. Like, what are they preventing? I mean, you know, because take it to face value already, terrorism, right? We are, <laughs> we already know they're not effective at filtering out contraband. Um, That's technically not their job, isn't that Customs and Border Protection's job? Well, by contraband, I just mean like things that aren't allowed to go through TSA. I, okay, maybe contraband isn't the right word, but like you know, they're not effective at things that they're supposed to be doing. Okay, whatever. Um, so I don't know. Would you would you invest in TSA PreCheck? Oh, I have TSA PreCheck. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely worth it. Can confirm. I I uh, so I was flying. I flew to Texas this week, uh, this past week, and um. To this point, my job had required me to travel. Oh god, now let me go. I gotta go back in my calendar. Like, actually, no, I don't have to go to the calendar because I can just log into Southwest.com and it will list all of my travel history. But like, I had a trip in. I had a trip in October after I got back from from uh, India. Like two trips in November. Uh, I went to visit my parents uh, for the holidays in Atlanta. I had another trip in January uh, to Texas. And I had another trip in February during the middle of a winter storm to Texas. What are we at? Five? And then we, and I went to Denver. And then this, and then just recently I decided, you know what, fucking, I'm getting a uh, PSA pre-check. Then I flew to Texas on it. So yes, can confirm. Uh, TSA project is worth it. Um, let's do one more. We're getting close to the, the time limit here. Really? Uh, and, uh, well, didn't you have uh, episodes uh, run longer? We we aim for like forty minutes ish. Uh, and well, then if it runs long, it runs long. Because we're still but on the topic. Kind of, because well, it's getting late. Topic. I don't want to keep you here. Yeah. So go uh, ahead. Well, yeah. because we are on the topic of air travel, window or aisle. I don't see how you can go with the aisle. People are bumping into you. They got to bump into you to get out. Yeah, like, but you got a quick egress. Why are you getting out so quick? Where are you going? Tons. So yes, I am a I am a window guy. But if I can't get a window, I will settle for an aisle. If I absolutely have to take a middle seat, then fine. Yeah, you gotta go window. All right. Um, Especially for those dope cityscapes, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. If you want to see outside, you got to go out the window. But then when you are sitting in the window, you always get the person in the middle seat, like, uh-huh. peeking out to a window and, like, looking over your shoulder. It's like, what do you want? What do you want here? Um, yeah. Um, that, well, that, was, that, was, uh, that took a turn into a rabbit hole. <laughs> eh? Uh, yeah, so, that's the show. Anything else you wanted to cover before we head out? I wanted to leave this time, just in case you had something juicy. This ain't my episode. This is your episode, oh, it's, dude. Oh, it's 2.15. Well, again, this proves why I don't answer the questions, because I just don't have a strong enough take. That's what you're here for, to provide the strong takes. Uh, oh. Am I the, uh, am I the Stephen A. Smith to your, uh, like, to what? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I would say Skip Bayless, but he's got t- hot takes of his own. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got. Well, if you if you work for that type of show, you have to have strong takes one way or the other. You know, unless you're moderating, in which case you just have to steer the conversation, and make sure it doesn't get out of hand. You have to get upset that the conversation keeps getting out of hand. Um. That's what they do. Um, okay, so Stephen, any other any other takes? No, I'm good. Okay. 
Uh, actually, I do have one hot take. I think UJ is going to crash to Earth the, uh, next season. Wow. Wow. I could Start be wrong, though. This episode. I could be Start wrong, this though. I mean, this is Kirby Smart. In the last couple of years, he's shown, like, I don't know if I, I don't know if it's more recruiting or more, uh, cause the recruitment was always there. It's probably be more, uh, development. But, yeah, we'll if see. anybody's primed for a crash to earth, it's probably Georgia football. And who knows? Maybe we'll actually take advantage of it. Uh, I'll give you a better yeah. take. Um, I think Georgia Tech's going to a bowl game this year. Wow. That, that's hot because of really previous history. Yes, but we got rid of, uh, we got rid of, uh, Coach Collins. We got rid of Coach Collins. I mean, great recruiter, but, Apparently, he couldn't develop players worth a damn. And I've got my teeth, so I feel better. All right. Thanks for coming on. Um, we'll do more celebrations next episode, where yeah. I don't have to answer questions, probably. Okay. Because I should never have to answer questions. It doesn't. It's, you know. Again, you got the tape. You got the tapes. Yes, but when we have a big milestone episode, at some point we got to be like, well, you we you keep asking us about your opinions. Now we gotta we get to hear from you. We get to hear from the man behind the show. Come on, gotta embrace it at some point. Have been begging for it. All right, right in the show.